YouTube, how you all doing? It's time to run some cables. Let's get started. Here's the point of entry, and I'm thinking a total of four. One, two, three, four. We are good to go. It's about to rain. Let me seal it up. All right, we fed those two wires from the roof, and now I need to drill another hole right there and uh, run the wires all the way down uh, underneath this cap. <laughs> Run the wires through it. Okay. From the roof through that hole. Let's go down one more. Let's go one more. last hole but before I do that I want to make sure I'm not gonna hit anything so let me open this up and take a look all right this is where your uh, water pump is too so that's clear all right let's drill it This is how I ran the wires. From the roof, drill another hole right there, right there, underneath, another level, another level, right? From there, all the way down, right there. And I'm not sure if you guys remember, uh, if you've been following this channel, I actually installed a uh, electric water heater and that's what the that hole is for through that hole and to my combiner box which is located underneath this couch right here let's open it up lift it up there it is pull the wires through perfect and the combiner box will be right there. Alright, there you go. Fully mounted. Next, we're going to run some wires from the combiner box to the other side where I'm going to place my battery bank. And this is the dinette right here. And underneath this bench is actually uh, storage. There it is. Alright, let me drill and plan out the holes. Hang tight right here that's the spot right here let me cut this and uh, drill through it I'm gonna cut it first then drill the hole hang tight time lapse just did a uh, flap cut right don't cut it all the way but there you go let me go ahead and drill Poke through it. There 
it is. Found a path. Let's go outside. Oh yeah. How about that? Let me go ahead and fish the wires. Beautiful. How about that? Let's mount the controller under the bench. Just right there. The controller is installed. Let's move in the battery, the AGM battery bank. Excellent, right, it's time to drill a hole on this side. There it is. There's the flap. All right, let's drill a hole. Let's clean it up. Vacuum the hell out of that. I went ahead and poke the uh, rod through, right, and it came out. Same thing on the other side. There's an opening just right there. As you can see, that's next to the fuel line. So be careful. Don't force it. So we poked it through. It's time to feed it onto the other side using that fish tape right there. Using the same hole, right, shove it all the way to the other side. Yes, on the other side, just yank it, right, pull it. All right, just pull it all the way through and then attach it to this rod and pull it. Now you have uh, your pair of wires inside the Let's cabin. pull it out. How about that? Take a look. Take a look. From one side of the travel trailer onto the other side. Excellent. There you go, combiner box, fully wired. This uh, positive and negative, that's the uh, set of wires that I ran from the other side of the travel trailer, which is underneath the bench right here. Before I forget, I wanna let you know that that's a 12 gauge bare wire. Added it to that add-on bus bar that I added and so a uh, ground bus bar there so I connected it just ran a bare wire right there. All right, let me tuck it in. Yeah, this combiner box, right, could have gone on the uh, roof, but uh, the more I think about it, I'd rather check the fuse here instead of climbing onto the roof. So anyway, this is good to go. Let's button it up. <laughs> Check it out. All buttoned up. Still need to glue that and probably uh, spray some uh, expanding foam. Of course, keep it insulated still. It's time to plug those wires to the controller. Take a look. I got my AGM uh, VMAX tanks, battery bank. Got the controller. Installed, got the wires, good to go. 
right? Let's go on the roof and mount the panels. Exciting.